The myth of overnight success stories, is it really a myth? It's mostly a myth. Um, a friend of mine who just got a big overall deal at a studio said, oh, it only took me 14 years to be an overnight success. And that's the way it usually is. People put in a lot of hard work before they become successful. Papers and websites love to talk about overnight success because it's really sexy, but the truth is it's not really happening. Except there are exceptions. There's people like Mickey Fisher, who was a playwright on the East Coast, and he was just scraping by and decided that he was gonna write a couple of pilots and a pilot he wrote ended up winning a contest, ended up being represented by William Morris Endeavor, ended up going to Steven Spielberg's company, ended up having a 13 episode on the air commitment and Steven Spielberg as the executive producer. Now that was sort of an overnight success, but that's one in a million. Mostly it's just slogging away, doing the work, doing the work, getting better, getting better, getting better. And um, overnight success is the thing of movies, actually, more than real life. Well, you know, I was hearing an author speak the other day, I think it was a YouTube video, and they said that sometimes people with incredible talent, it's actually more of a detriment because they come to LA and they think, well, because I've been told all my life I'm so fantastic, right. it's just gonna be just less than a year, right? And I'm going to open doors, right? And they get very frustrated and actually give up more. Than I think that's you true. Think that's true. I think, mm -hmm. and or you can meet with early success, and then have a fallow period. Sean Ryan, who created The Shield, he was in Vermont in college, and he won a national uh, award for his playwriting. He got to go to a and they flew him to the West Coast. He sat in a comedy writing room. He was pitching. They bought an idea of his. They hired him the next season on it. And as he says, I don't know what everybody's talking about this being difficult. This was easy. And then he didn't work again for about six years. Oh. So the people that have that experience of this is so easy, it, it often doesn't continue, unfortunately. Sometimes it does, but often not. Right. And I think too, don't you think younger people, they, they, they're, they're more seen as like these darlings and then when you come here there's so many darlings ah, that have come. As a friend of mine also said, um, in, a co in a television comedy writing room, you are in a room with everybody in the room was the funniest person in their class. And so suddenly you're not the darling. Suddenly, you're one of 10 people who were all the top of their class in terms of being the class clown, in terms of being the funniest person at a party. So Hollywood brings the best of the best, and it's an adjustment people have to make. 